Hi. In the last video we looked at how we can create our own blocks and we started by creating a block called square. So this worked pretty well and if we execute it we can have the cat draw a square whenever we want. We can just drag in this uh, puzzle piece into any program that we create and it'll draw a square for us. Now the problem with this though is the square is very predictable. It's um, it's exactly 100 by 100 and uh, we can't draw one that's say 200 by 200. We could create another puzzle piece, maybe we'll call it square 2, that is 200 by 200, but do we really want to create a puzzle piece for every size square that we might conceivably want to create? So one of the very powerful things you can do with these puzzle pieces is you can turn them into puzzle pieces that take a variable. And the variable allows us to be flexible about what kind of square we want to have drawn. So let's try to draw, uh, let's create one like that. So I'm going to cr create another block. I'm going to call this block, um, let's call it, I don't know, flexible square. And I'm going to have it add an input, be number or text. Okay. So this will be our new puzzle piece called Flexible Square. And it's going to look a lot like the old one. So I'll start by saying pen down. Actually, let's just move this one over here so we have more room. Pen down. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to have it uh, move, but rather than a hundred steps, we're going to have it move number or text steps. Turn 90 degrees, move number steps, Turn 90 degrees. Move number steps. Turn 90 degrees. Move number steps. And turn 90 degrees. And there we have it. Okay, now. Oh, one thing I should add to this, I'm gonna, at the very end I should put pen up just to indicate that we've finished drawing. Okay, so now flexible square is cool because what you can do if you want to have a square that looks like this, you put a hundred in here and then it's going to move a hundred steps, turn 90, move a hundred steps, turn 90 and so forth and draw a square of size 100. But if I want to have a 200 size square, I can put a 200 into this area and use that instead. So let's take a look. And we'll try it out. So we know what, uh, well here I'm going to just get rid of this. Delete those blocks. Let's bring in flexible square and put in 100. So again, it's going to put 100 in here, and all the movements will be size 100. Let's try it out. There it is. Now let's try 200. Now we've got a bigger square. 450. And we have a smaller square. So you can see now I don't need to uh, have this program define square at all really because this square, flexible square, can draw a square of any size for me. I just have to specify in this area what that size is going to be. So let's try, uh, let's try something interesting with a loop. Um, so we'll start here. Let's go back into control and we'll try our, our repeat loop again.
and we'll do our motion and turn 10 degrees, 36, there we go. Okay, let's have it try it with the flexible square set at 50. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting thing there. Let me, let's uh, fix that up here. Okay, what I did is I moved it 10 steps, so it just kept drawing square after square, 36 of them in a row. What I meant to do is have it turn 10 degrees. Let's try that. Okay. I'll just delete this block. Let's try it again. There we go. Now if I change this to 100, we get a bigger one. And we can even change it to, you know, 150, like so. And we get an even bigger one. So the really powerful thing about creating blocks that take a variable is that you can create functions like this one, flexible square, that let you um, specify specify the type of square that you want in a different in a certain condition. So um, uh, again, it's a very powerful tool, and my blocks allows you to use it. You just click on make a block, and you can specify what kinds of input you want the uh, the block to take.